Welcome to PC Woods Kids Tech Talk. Today we're doing a review on setting up iFinity with the AMD or ATI previously called. The video cards allowed you to connect multiple monitors to one video card so you can have this panoramic view when you're playing your games, for example. Right, three monitors is the classic setup for iFinity, and you get the surround view. There are minimum system requirements and recommended system requirements that you have to follow. If you have one of the new HD 5000 series cards, then you're set to go, really. You just need to keep an eye on certain things that are required in order to get this to work, such as having enough RAM uh, on your machine. Meeting the minimum specifications is really uh, what you need in order to get this to work. But if you really want to take full advantage of three monitors connected, you should have at least four gigs of RAM. Here is an example on different types of video cards that support iFinity. Not all of them have the same uh, capabilities, right? Depending on the card that you get, you can hook up uh, three monitors, for example, but get a larger, higher resolution. Now I'm going to be testing uh, 5040 times 1050 for the sake of my setup, but depending on the video card that you have, you can go higher than that or lower. Okay, so keep that in mind. Not all video cards are identical. Now on the AMD website, they actually have this little um, setup recommendation tutorial that you select the type of uh, use that you're going to be doing Ifinity for, uh, gaming extreme, for example how many monitors you'll be using, whether it's three and the different types of configurations. So you select what you want, and then after you go through that, it then tells you what you need in order to get that to work. Okay, so for example, here it's saying you need a display port, you need at least two of these combinations. So two DVI plugs, for example, at the back, and that's pretty standard now with all these new video cards. You have two DVI and a mini display port is what they're coming with and you're going to need a active display port adapter okay so active display port adapter you have to buy that separately it doesn't come with it when you get the card here is an example of an active display port adapter i got one from sapphire actually i had to buy this and um you can find them on eBay for cheap, about $40 or less, depending on where you go. And this one here is certified to work uh, on your AMD Ifinity video card. And of course, it supports uh, three monitor setup, which is what I'm going to be doing here in this example. Some uh, video cards that you get these days support way more than just three monitors. Okay, just for the sake of this example I'm just hooking up three monitors okay and what we're gonna be doing is setting up two monitors hooked up to the DVI plug and one of them is gonna go on to the mini display port and on this HD 6950 I've got two mini display ports because this card actually supports four uh, displays I can I can hook up four monitors but I'm only gonna hook up three here is the mini display port plug uh, which came with the video card already, but I need the acti active display port adapter, okay? Otherwise, it will not work. So this plugs in right there, and then on that cable at the other end, I'm going to plug in the active display port. So you see how I, what I've done here is I plugged in the uh, Sapphire um, active display port onto that little mini display ad port adapter, and um, then I plugged in the DVI uh, connection of my monitor to that. I know it looks a little bit complicated, but it's not. It's very simple. Then the other two monitors that I have, I just plugged in the DVI connectors, one to the top and one to the bottom, and that's it. This is what you end up with when you have three monitors connected, one on the display port and one on the DVI and the other on the other DVI. Okay, this is the test system. In part two, I'm going to be doing some testing. I'm going to be going through the Windows setup on putting this together. So watch my part two to continue with the review on the Ifinity, how to set it up. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.